Hi, my name is Jesse Mwai, a pastor with Crisis Yansa Ministries, and I want to encourage you this Christmas season, please visit us in our church in Sitam, Buruburu, right here in Nairobi. I want to share a wonderful message for you on this Christmas Eve. And let me begin by wishing you a Merry Christmas. And I hope that the, the, the season has already proved to be wonderful, to be glorious, to be exciting, and full of glad tidings. This is the 24th of December, and uh, this is just Christmas Eve. That's what we would normally call it, Christmas Eve. And as we think of Christmas Eve, and I know with all the festivities, the travel, and probably even as you're watching this video, you're watching this video away from home in a different location, or maybe you're at home, maybe you're not able to travel, maybe you're in the hospital, you know, you and uh, probably would have wished to join your family and friends in the festivities, or maybe you're at work, maybe your work requires you to be at, uh, in, on your desk or in your station, even during this Christmas Eve. Maybe it's an exciting time for you, maybe it may be a lonely time for you, whatever the case may be. I have a Christmas Eve message for you see, just before Jesus was born, the Bible tells us that Joseph and Mary had to take a trip and they had to travel to go back to their hometown so that they could be registered. A census was taking place and Herod had ordered that everybody should return back to their hometown. And can you imagine, Mary was about nine months preg pregnant the baby was just about. And yet, in those days, they did not have locomotives. In those days, they did not have trains or vehicles or airplanes. So long distances, they depended either on walking or maybe using a horse or maybe using a donkey or camels, whatever the case may be, depending on somebody's status and wealth. And for this couple who hardly had much to their name, they obviously would be sitting on a donkey. Can you imagine that treacherous trip of many, many miles with a woman who is just about to give birth? And yet they had to obey the decree of the king. And while they were in Bethlehem, of course, we know that that's when the baby came. That's when Jesus Christ was actually born. But I was just thinking to myself, that sometimes, sometimes the way circumstances work. You know, you have waited for so long for something for so long and just before you are able to deliver it, just before it comes to fruition, it becomes your most difficult moment. I can imagine how difficult, how painful, how treacherous that trip was as they were riding on that donkey. Can you imagine this woman carrying a baby who, is almost, uh, who has almost come to term and yet she has to make this trip. Here is the deal. And, and as I think about these things on this Christmas Eve, I'm thinking that my brother, my sister, sometimes, sometimes uh, the way things are orchestrated divinely in our lives is that some of our most difficult moments come just before we come to our destiny, just before we come to our miracle, just before we realize the blessing. Sometimes those are the most difficult moments of our lives. And I know I'm speaking to people maybe who are pregnant with destiny because Mary was definitely pregnant with destiny. Can you imagine this woman carrying this child for nine months knowing that that which she was carrying was divine? Her herself knowing that she had never known a man and yet she was carrying a baby in her womb. But it was not going to be a comfortable season for her because sometimes we think that because simply because I'm in God's will, simply because I'm doing what God called me to do, sometimes we expect that things will be easy, things will be simple. Sometimes we expect that it's going to be smooth all, all the way. I've realized that many, many times when you are in God's will, sometimes all hell seems to break loose. Sometimes when you're in God's will, when you're carrying destiny, uh, some of your greatest trials come at that particular point. But I want you just um, to think about this. On the eve of the baby coming, Mary must have been in a very uncomfortable place. Suddenly they did not even have a place to spend the night. They did not have a room in the, they could not find a place. They had to go and find refuge, hospitality, 
in a manger, a place that was inhabited by animals. The stench, the sounds and the noise and the discomfort, the bugs they had to deal with, the flies they had to deal with. Definitely not a place that is sanitary enough for you to deliver a baby. Can you imagine maybe Mary in her heart thinking, God, I, I thought this was a divine baby. I thought this was something that you, 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 you give me to do. I mean, the least I will ask is that I deliver this place in a, in a, in a good environment, you will think. But sometimes our greatest blessings, our greatest miracles, our greatest, our greatest breakthroughs, our destinies are delivered not in a comfortable place, not in a desirable place, but sometimes they are delivered through hardship, pain, sweat, tears and trials. And sometimes even in a, in a smelly place, where we don't expect to be, and sometimes in a place that maybe evokes some sense or emotions of, 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 uh, of, of pain and maybe you want to complain, sometimes that is where destiny is delivered. My name is Jesse Mwai, and I just want to deliver that message to you on this Christmas Eve. Hang in there. God is still on the throne and he still has you, and at the right time, he will send help to come and confirm that that which you have delivered is truly from Him. Please share this video on this Christmas Eve. Let somebody else receive also this message. Let it be, let it be of encouragement to others. As I said, we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter. Whichever platforms that you have, please circulate and share this video. May the Lord bless you. Have a Merry Christmas tomorrow and have a Merry Christmas throughout this season and may there be glad tidings and good tidings for you and your loved ones. God bless you.